Okay, let's keep going. What can I help you with? She was buoyant about her plans to go rafting on the Indus River. I think she might be in India. I tell you, her hair was the color of a midwinter Alaskan night. Midwinter Alaskan night? I wonder if she has gray hair. It's either gray or black. I'm not sure, but let's keep going. Hey there. She maintains a low profile around people of average height. So she's short. But I just want to be sure. Do you need something? She was sporting spiffy specs. What's on your mind? Her friends probably call her String Bee. Okay. Alright, the Indus River. Okay, wait, so she's not in India. She Oh, telephone. Let's find out who we have on here. I don't recognize that number, but I'm going to go ahead and answer it anyway. Hello? Life insurance? No, thank you. Let's go to Pakistan. It was a computerized voice. All right. Oh, Carmine's sleeping like a kitty. Yes. Well, it was headed for a place that looks like Switzerland, but instead of Alps, it has alpacas. Okay. Her shades look pretty expensive. I just need to know if her hair color is gray or black. Hello there. I probably could have wrapped my arms around her twice. Yes, what is it? If there were two of her, they'd look like chopsticks. Hi there. Her height wasn't ideal for basketball, but perfect for miniature golf. Well, hello. She used a handkerchief to clean her lenses. Okay. That's all the information I can get. It's that it has a place that looks like Switzerland, but it has alpacas. Uh, okay, it's either Chile or Argentina, but I'm going to check to be sure. Hello there. She was buying a costume for the festival in La Tirana. La Tirana, but I need more help. Yes, what is it? She claimed the bravado to climb the Ojos del Salado. Hi there. She was planning to raise chinchillas on the banks of the Valdivia. Alright, it's one of those two, Chile or Argentina. Well, hello. She said she had a rendezvous with a miner named Enrique, just outside the port of Iquique. Iquique, okay. I'm gonna say Chile. I picked the right one! We're going to Chile. <laughs> Let me get a good look at the suspects before I can make an arrest. Okay, so she has black hair, not gray hair, so I gotta reissue my warrant. Alright, she has black hair, not gray hair. Now, go get her. Oh, yes? You're under arrest! Penny Pincher. think you coppers had enough sense to catch me. Well, we did. Hey! You're a newsmaker and a crime breaker. Good work. You pinched Penny Pincher and parked her parsimonious posterior in the pokey. Good going, Gumshoe. That's great work, investigator. Or should I say senior investigator? Congratulations. You've just earned yourself a promotion. But you can't rest on your laurels for long. 
There's already been another heist, and I'd like to assign you the case. Will you take it? Yes. File has brought pain to Spain. We're going to Spain. They stole the bulls from Pamplona. Every year, people come to this town from all over just to run down a narrow street chased by a herd of angry bulls. But all that macho is on hold until you stop the crook who took the bulls. Charge! We're headed out, Chief. All right, Jay, let's go to Spain. Let's go. An 18-hour, 45-minute flight crossing seven time zones. Here we are in Spain. Begin. Good afternoon. He's on an odyssey to do something unethical in Ithaca. I couldn't help noticing his hair was the color of daffodils. So he's a male, he has yellow hair or blonde hair? Blonde, okay. Ithaca, okay. Do you need some help? He was the opposite of raven haired. Great. Oh, hello. I had to stand on tiptoe in order to look him in the eye. He's tall. Okay, I know there's a town in New York called Ithaca, so it looks like we're going to the United States. <clears throat> oh no! We went to the wrong country. Uh, we gotta go back to Spain. Well, I put, went to the wrong place, so let's try again. Do you need some help? Authorities admitted that he really got their goats when he filched a fortune in Feta from the Peloponnese. Oh, we're going to Greece! Greece! There we go, now we're in the right place. What do you need? He was all fired up about chasing a chimera in the Taurus Mountains just north of the island of Cyprus. He could probably find work in the symphony as a heart string. <laughs> so he's thin. All we need now is what he's wearing and I think it's a hat, but I want to be sure. Welcome, may I help you? He said he won't go anywhere without a brain bucket. We have our information. He's wearing a hat. Okay, I believe we are going to Turkey. Let's go. It's only a 45 minute flight. <laughs> Welcome. After a long preamble, he amended his plans and decided he'd go steal the Constitution. Now he's in the United States for sure. Alright, now we're going to the right location. Cuba! He's in Nigeria. Yeah, pussy, pussy, 
pussy. <laughs> there he is. Yes? You're under arrest! Lou Pole. Carmen will find a way to get me out of this. I don't think so. I love reading good news about my agents. Nice work. There's no legal loophole for Lou Pole, and next Christmas he'll be getting a lump of coal. <laughs> but there's already another crook out there causing chaos. Are you ready for another case? Yes. Let's go. Oh. South Africa's landscape has been looted. Some dope stole the Cape of Good Hope. Just hacked it right off the edge of the continent. Your job is to track down that crook and bring back the Cape in undented shape. Da da. Here comes Carmen. Oh, hi, Carmen. Do you really think you can catch me? Yes. Carmen San Diego is never far away, but always out of reach. I really do think I can catch you, Carmen. Yeah, we're gonna catch you. Don't worry. Good day. He's just stowed away on a ship sailing to a nation south of Singapore. Indonesia. I didn't get a good look at him. I always seem to blink when a picture is taken. He has a camera. Oh, yes. He was a man of middling measurements. Okay, he's average. How can I help you? At his weight, he can probably fit clothes marked one size fits all. Hmm. Do you need something? He's an ordinary guy. Not too short and not too tall. Alright. He's medium. What seems to be the problem? He tosses his hair about like a matador's cape. I believe he has red hair, and I believe I know who the suspect is. Oh, good. Jack Cheese. So let's go to Indonesia. Off to the Adriatic. So I believe he is in Italy. Hey Jay, let's go grab a pizza. Yes, let's. I'll take uh, pepperoni. I'll take a supreme. You'll take what? Supreme. All right. Abuja was a capital city to visit. He said he couldn't have planned it better himself. Abuja? He is in Nigeria. a telegram that read, saw the Danube River and was very let down. Strauss was wrong. It's not blue, it's brown. That means we're going to Austria. Let's go. Come here. 
heard him say that he was off to an island nation where most of the bergs are pretty small, but some of the icebergs are pretty large. That would be... Iceland! Let's go. This is where our suspect is. Jack Cheese, there he is. What can I do for you? You can come to jail with us. You're under arrest. You can grill me all you want, but you'll never catch Carmen. I'll believe that when I see it. That's what I call good gumshoeing gumshoe. Congratulations! You cut Jack Cheese right out of the picture, and the stench of his crime has subsided. We tried to get some info from this fumbling fiend, but we only got cryptic answers. The only meaningful statement was, I never wear a watch because it's always time for theft. Let's make a note of that. There's already been another horrible heist. I need a great gumshoe to take the case. Will you do it? Yes. Let's go. They're mighty cross in Austria because someone... Oh, we're going back to Austria. Not just any stick, mind you. It's the baton used to lead the Vienna Boys Choir. Without it, the hills are alive with the sound of nothing. It's up to you to make the music flow again, gumshoe. All right, Jay, we're going to Austria. Let's go. Oh, yes. He was sighted gulping green tea with geishas on the Ginza. He must be one of Vile's heavyweights. He's a male, and he's heavy. What can I do for you? His hair is the color of fudge. Brown hair. Tell me what you need. He peeked through his aperture and said I was photogenic. Alright, he's got a camera. All we need to know now is his height. Let's hope we can get that information. Geisha. So that means we're going to... Japan! Yes! <laughs> it, it will never learn. Exactly. What's up? He was off to an independent Nordic Republic that has been controlled by both Norway and Denmark. He's a whale of a guy. What's going on? He must be taking pictures of cars because he mentioned he had an autofocus lens. Known for the length of his belt. Alright. The only information I was given is that he is in Iceland. Here. What can I do for you? He planned to rob the banks of the Niger. There's Nigeria. Where are your banners? His hair is the color of fudge. Inside Carmen's hat. Good answer. Well, hello. You 
you could almost say his head was in the clouds. He's tall. We have our suspect. We have a warrant issued for our suspect. Let's go to Nigeria. Yes. Do you need some help? He was carrying a book on hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics. Egypt. Definitely. What can I do for you? He's slinking like only a cat can do in Katmandu. He's in Nepal. There he is. Greetings. Greetings to you, too. You're under arrest. Mac Aroni. <laughs> is in jail. Ah, looks like I'm in hot water. You made me look like a wet noodle. Boo hoo. Great work. You've hit the headline. Thanks to you, Mac Aroni is cooked, drained, and in the sauce. The bad news is, Carmen's crew has already struck again. Can you take a new case right now? Sure can. You're going to China, because there's been a sting in Beijing. Someone stole the keys to the Forbidden City. The ancient palace is closed up tighter than a wonton, and no one's getting in till you stop the crook who copped the keys. Good luck. There she is, Carmen. At last, oh, hi, the opponent. I've enjoyed the game so far, Gumshoe, but wait until you see my next move. We're going down, Carmen. Welcome, may I help you? He was off to a nation east of Greece where he expected to drink some excellent coffee. He was somewhere between heavy and a half pint. Average. What do you need? He said his nickname was Skyscraper. He's tall. The top of his head is the color of a rooster's comb. Red. Jay, I think our suspect this time is Harry Bat. Yes. Yes. Oh, hi. He wasn't light as a feather, but you wouldn't call him heavy. Hello, stranger. I've been looking for him for I a while. I missed departure because I was blinded by the flashbulb. Yep, it's Harry Bat. Let's have it. Alright, a nation east of Greece, so that means we're going to... Turkey! Let's go! Do you need information? He said he still carried a torch for a gymnast he'd met in Olympia. Alright. So that means our suspect is in Greece, but we're going to be taking our flight to Greece when we come back.